folks. Welcome once again to Cooking with Charles. Guess what? I'm Charles and you're cooking with me tonight. So, this is our ninth episode. We're almost ready for our tenth episode extravaganza. Now, in uh, regular TV land, a hundred episodes, that's the mark of success. But here in public access, ten episodes. That is it. You've made it when you've made ten. So, that's coming up in a couple of weeks. But for now, let's focus on this episode. Tonight, we're gonna go a little bit healthy. I've been told that I cook a little bit on the fattening side. And uh, well, we're gonna make it healthier tonight. So tonight's star of the show is going to be Haddock. We're going to steam this with a bunch of vegetables, but don't worry folks, we have some cream and butter for those of you that don't like it steamed with no flavor. So this is what we're gonna do. First off, let's get our water ready. Right over here, we got some water going on. It's uh, heating up as we speak, and we're going to add some colorful vegetables to it. As you all know, because you are all fans of the show, I love zucchini and I love summer squash. Not just because it is cheap, and not just because it is flavorful, but it's also colorful. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut these up into rings or circles, as you can see, whatever you want to call them. And let's just get this going. These are our zucchinis. Push those off to the side. You know, my knife's getting a little dull. I tried sharpening it myself, but I think I may need to go to a professional knife sharpener. It's kind of like doing appendicitis on yourself as well. You know how to do it because you know it's there. And you've got the books that tell you that, hey, this is where it's located. You can cut into yourself, but you're a professional. So by my next show, I will let you all know where you can go locally to get your knife sharpened. How does that sound? And hopefully we can find somebody who can do it on the cheap, on the quick, and as I said, locally. Because yeah, I use a bench grinder at home in my garage. But yeah, I'm just not getting the, uh, the good blade that I want. All right, we got zucchini, we got summer squash, all cut up. Right over here. We got, our, we got about a cup of water in here, folks. And we're gonna put this on medium. Now we're going to add a little bit of red onion. We're only going to need about half of a red onion. Again, this is just for color. And also flavor, but look at the red onion. You can use white onion if you want. You can use a Vandalia. Use whatever you want. It's your dish. It's your dinner. Just gonna cut these nice and thin. Gonna just do that right in the middle right there. There we go. And now this side. Look at this. Mm. Love the smell of onions. All right. Let's just get those mixed up. Now, to our water over here. It's water. It's got no flavor, no taste. We're going to add a little bit of ground pepper. We're going to add some sea salt. Just a small pinch. And we have garlic. As I've told you before, I prefer the minced or the crushed from a jar. Let them do the work for you at the grocery store, at the wherever they make this. No sense of you doing it yourself. Yeah, whole cloves are less expensive, but you know, it's just too much work sometimes. It really is. All 
right, we are going to get that on high and kick it up. Now also with this dish, we're going to use some lemon. Check this out. The seal right there, made in America. When you cook with Charles, you put American lemons to work. Now I'm just going to cut off the end of the lemon because I just want to put this in here with just a little bit of squeezing and I'll just place the, place the lemon to the side. Let that sit for a while. Now, later on, we're going to add some red and green bell peppers and some asparagus. Now, I buy the asparagus frozen and I buy the red and green bell peppers frozen. Reason being, I don't have to cut them and two, they taste better. I can buy red and green bell peppers, that's fine, but when you freeze them, they are frozen, the peak of freshness, and I can just go in my freezer and I can grab just a little bit, put them in what I'm cooking. It makes it much easier. Also, with the asparagus, yeah, I can buy the stocks of asparagus, I can cook them myself, I can do whatever, but when they're frozen, they're more tender, they take less time to cook, and peak of freshness, mm, they do taste delicious. And, I don't have to worry about that whole pound of asparagus because I'm the only one in my house that likes asparagus. All right, now as always, we cook with what we like to drink. Tonight we have a Pinot Grigio. I am a red wine man, but the Pinot Grigio is also a fine wine. Mm. Semi-dry, just a tad on the sweet side but it's good, it's really good. So, we're gonna make a nice lemon dill sauce with that later as well. Mm. All right, so where are we at? We got the vegetables over here cooking. Oh, look at that. Can you see that steam? Woo, it looks good, it looks good. Woo, it smells good too. Woo. So now we're gonna get our haddock ready. And as always, our meats and most everything you see here is provided by Sully's. They have the best meats in town. They also have some really great fish. You won't find much beyond swordfish and haddock there, but what they do have is actually really great quality. I've got two pieces of haddock, so to speak. I have a um, skin off. Lots of times if you go to a, a, a bigger supermarket and you say, I want some haddock, they'll say, do you want the skin off? You'll say yes. This time I said no. Because I want to see what it's like to cook with it with the skin on. If you have a sharp knife, you can cut the skin off yourself, but let them do the work for you. So we get some oil cooking, oil heating over here. And what we're going to do with this haddock is we're just going to salt it just a little bit on the skin side. We're going to press that in. Take a little bit of pepper on the skin side. We're going to press this in. So we're just going to cook the skin side a little bit over here. And then we'll put everything into the pot with all the vegetables. So let's see, that looks like it's going pretty well. All right, just going to lie that right there. Now, what that's also going to do is that's going to flavor our oil with the skin, the fish, the fish flavor that we're going for. This will just take a few seconds. We don't want to overcook it in there because we want to steam the most, most of it right over here. Now with this fish right here, what we're going to do I'll put that down right here. Oop. Have a little bit of tarragon. Tarragon is a great season for fish. Just gonna sprinkle that on top. You can use fresh tarragon, you can use dry tarragon. I say use the dry. It's a little bit cheaper. And it's also just as flavorful. So put a little bit of salt on there as well. 
and a little bit of a turn or two of the pepper mill. All right, yep. Oh, this is working out nicely. The skin is separating. from the meat. Look at that. That is like a fish stock in the making. Let's just cut that in half there. Spatula. Oh, look at that. You can just peel this off with your spatula. So even though we don't have a sharp knife, I have exactly what I need to make it work. So I'm going to take this off right now, put this right over there, and I'm going to go back into this piece. Flip it over, scrape off the skin. This is going to make a great sauce, folks. See that? Just a little bit of heat. Very low heat. Takes it off, separates the skin from the meat. And we have exactly what we need to move forward. So I'm going to turn this down right now. I'm going to see how this stuff is cooking. Mmm. Again, we need TVs with smell-o-vision. Because right now we have a lot of garlic. Or yeah, I did put a little bit of garlic in there. We have a lot of pepper, the onions. Oh, we have everything in there. Smells great. All right, let's just bring this over here and see how this is tasting so far. Ooh, that is getting nice and tender. This is what you're looking for. Once that starts getting tender, mmm, mmm, it tastes like summer. What we're going to do now, though, is we are going to take our fish and we're going to lay it right on top. So let's get a shot of us laying it right on top. Ooh, very nice, very simple, very easy. Again, this is the low fat version of this meal. Now, the cup, cup and a half of water I put in here, looks like it might have been a bit much because we get a lot of moisture coming out of the vegetables. Uh, that we put in here. But we're going to let this go on and we can always take them out of the moisture later, out of the water later. So I'll turn this back up and we are going to let this sit like this and poach, steam, whatever you want to call it. All right, that is going to work there. Folks, while that is working, right now we're going to take a quick break and we come back we're gonna make our sauce. Now our sauce is gonna be a cream sauce, but you can also, we're gonna make it with uh, white wine and dill. So you can do a lemon white wine dill sauce, but, and we're gonna cream it the, at the end. So you can make it nice and healthy or nice and half healthy. So come back, we're not going anywhere, so don't you go anywhere, and we'll see what we get. All right, we'll be back in about two minutes. We could not do this show without the help of our friends at Sully's Superette. Since 1987, Sully's has provided the area with the best meats around. Here at Cook with Charles, we not only count on them for their kind donations of meat, but John and the gang at Sully's also provide us with the best produce, deli items, and libations that make Cooking with Charles the huge success it is. From all of us at Cooking with Charles, thank you. I've teamed up with the Goffstown Network to tell you about their outreach and food pantry programs. The mission of the Goffstown Network is to provide for the hunger-related needs of our neighbors in Goffstown and their surrounding communities. Founded with the governing principles that no person should go hungry and every person deserves our care. The Goffstown Network serves the area by providing food and other services on an emergency short-term basis. This spirit of community and mutual caring is extended to anyone in Goffstown, Dunbarton, and New Boston. Normal hours of operation are Wednesday evenings, 6 to 8 p.m., and Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. to noon. Now, you can, you can also assist them through donations of time, food, or money. Like the help they give, the help they receive is also greatly appreciated. 
You can reach them by calling the number on your screen or by stopping by the Parish House of St. Matthew's Church. It's located in downtown Goffstown at 7 North Mass Street, right across from Sully's. Hey folks, welcome back. We still have a lot going on over here. So, what do we have? Well, over here we have our summer squash, our zucchini, our onions, and our haddock. If you look, there's a lot of water in here. I used about a cup, cup and a half of water. That was too much. What I did not do was take into consideration that the summer squash, the zucchini, the haddock, everything else had moisture. As I'm boiling it, as I'm poaching it, as it's steaming in there, that's releasing more moisture. So, at home, we'll do this again, or you'll do this again, you'll use a little bit less water. Maybe start off with half a cup, three quarters of a cup, and keep some warm water by the side so you can put it in there if you need to. But really, that stuff looks awesome. It smells great though. We have the lemon, we've got the tarragon, we've got the salt, we've got the pepper. And that's our healthy meal. Now let's make our unhealthy meal. <laughs> okay, we have right over here, we have our oil that we used to heat up that skinned piece of haddock. And that skin just fell right off. And it looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes great, too. That's like our fish stock. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on about a medium heat. Now while that's heating up, we have a few things here. We have uh, some red and green bell peppers. I'm going to just add that to the fish. That's just for color, folks, and for flavor, of course, as well. Now, while this is heating up, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to make a dill sauce. And we're going to need some lemon. Gonna take my lemon, gonna slice it nice and thin. There we go. Again, I have to get my knife sharpened professionally because whew, they're just not working. So we got some thin slices of lemon. Those are just gonna go right over in here. Now, what else do we need? Well, we need our wine. Good splash, that's probably about a quarter to a half a cup. And we are going to let this pretty much just heat up. And we're going to reduce it. As it is reducing, we're going to add a little bit of tarragon. Maybe about a quarter teaspoon. And our garlic. Who does not like garlic, folks? Honestly. When somebody says, oh, it's got too much garlic in it, you don't have enough taste buds in your mouth. So we get the garlic, a little bit of sea salt, and some cracked pepper. Just a touch. Now I said a lemon white wine dill sauce. There's the baggie. This is from my own window garden. My dill plant has since died. God rest your soul, dill plant. But you know what? I got plenty of dill. I have plenty of Greek oregano. I have plenty of basil to get me through these winter months till my garden can grow again outside. All right, look at that. That is taking everything. Mmm. Lemon is doing great. What I'm going to do, folks, is I have about a half cup of cream and about half a teaspoon of butter, or half a tablespoon, rather. All right. I'm going to melt the butter in there. And this is going to be our healthy sauce. Because really, there's not a lot of butter in there. Mmm, that smells wonderful. This is done, folks. Mmm, I 
can't believe how good this smells and it's good for you. All right, one thing while this is cooking, we got this lemon piece right here. We're just gonna take that out, throw that away. Let's move some things around over here because we need to get some stuff out. Now, you can use any kind of fish in this recipe. The first time I had this recipe, it was with mahi-mahi, which is a nice, thick, thick fish, but you don't always have it in your local grocery store. Haddock, we live in New England. This is like Haddock Central. Which is why I went with that. Now, we have extra H2O in here, which is really, really too bad. But, hey, we will adapt and overcome. So what we'll do is we're just going to There we go. Look at these colors, folks, huh? Reds, greens, although you may not be able to see the greens because we have a green screen behind us. But look at that, look at those. Mm. And you know what? I love zucchini and summer squash that you boil the bejesus out of. It's the way my grandmother used to do it, and it's just the way I'm used to it. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we have two plates, folks. One healthy, one not so healthy, but actually it's going to be pretty healthy. I'm just going to put that there. There we go. That is for that plate. And that is for that plate. So, first up, there we are, folks. A little bit of lemon on top. Mix everything up. And this is the plate with just the touch of butter. Now, for the other plate, we have this. We're gonna add a little bit of cream. We got about a quarter cup in here. We're gonna heat that up. That is going to give it an entire another level of taste, which if you're a cream sauce fan, you know what I'm talking about. And truth be told, what I'm using is still pretty healthy. It's a fat-free half and half. Um, I don't use a lot of cream in my, my recipes. I will use a half and half, or I'll even use a milk. You're still getting those milk fats, and I use a 1% or a 2%. I don't go skim because you need those milk fats. And it does give it that little something extra. So this is just going to reduce a little bit. We put that on high. And we're getting ready to eat. So, we have all these other spices here. If you want more dill, guess what? Add a little bit more dill. This also makes a nice garnish. Go around the plate. Your guests are going to love it. Because it's going to pop on the side of the plate. I hope you can see this on the close-up. It just gives it a little something extra. Even this tarragon. And tarragon is one of my favorite spices in the world. It's sweet. Mm, love it. Now this extra lemon. Who knows if your guests like lemon or not. Neither do the chefs when you go out to eat. So, a little bit of lemon on the side. Get everything covered. Let's check out the cream sauce. 
It is thick. It is nice. So we're going to take that little piece of lemon here. Put that right there. Mm, mm, mm. I, for one, am the cream sauce fan. All right. Now, let's check this out, folks. I'm going to go with the cream sauce. Look at the plate. There we go. We got a little asparagus. If you noticed, I started off with a lot more asparagus. I ate a lot of it during the show. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, baby. You know what I can taste? I taste the vitamin A for awesome. That is good stuff, guys. That is wonderful. You serve that. You get a healthy meal. Whoever you serve that to is going to love you, going to love the meal, and they're going to love you for being healthy. Mm, enjoy, guys. Remember, next, next, next show, 10th episode, we're going to have a party extravaganza for that show. Mm, I can't stop eating. I'm sorry. We have to go. You have to cut because it's impolite to talk with my mouth full. And my wife will get mad if I say something like, boom goes the dynamite, because that tastes great. So folks, thank you for watching. Cheers to you, as always. I really don't know how to cook, but I look good doing it on TV. So, till next week, take care.